find people you trust, find people who aren't easily scared. Um, I think that, um, I guess I'll, I'll speak in terms of um, um, what I did in my past and, and um, I found people that I thought I could trust. In the end, I couldn't trust um, some of them, but, um, and people who are like-minded um, and people understand how important it is to, to keep your mouth shut, to not talk, to not gossip. Um, and people who are um, empowering, you know, and not, not disempowering. It's always the mm -hmm. hardest part, isn't mm -hmm. it? Okay. Is finding people to work with. That's mm -hmm. always the hardest part. And there's no formula for it at all. Um, I wish there was. But, you know, I can tell you that I've, I've never... Um, I've met very, 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 very few people in my life that I felt like I could truly trust. Um, very, very, very few. So if you find people like that, cling to them for dear life and don't ever let them go because um, those people don't only come around once or twice or three times in a lifetime. I think one of the best ways you can stay active in the long term um, is to, what I see people causing them to burn out a lot is intensive jobs, jobs that don't make them happy, they leave them emotionally drained, um, that leave them sort of listless at the end of the day. Um, that's a, something people don't talk about is, is how their, your jobs can affect your activist life. <clears throat> that can affect it in a very serious way. Um, I've seen a lot of really good people lose their passion for life and for activism because of their jobs. Um, do something that you care about. Um, don't get caught up in drug and alcohol use. That will ruin people. Um, I've seen I've seen a lot seen some good activists get lost um, and burn out because of that. Um, and I think most importantly, surround yourself with people who are um, empowering. Surround yourself with people who are. Um, Encouraging, like-minded, and um, and you know will keep you energetic. Um, don't. It's very difficult to stay a, a committed activist and not be surrounded by committed activists. Once you start surrounding yourself with people who just don't care, it's very difficult to shield yourself from that influence. I would like to. Uh, what do I like to achieve? I would like to. I would like it to be a two-way street. I would like to learn from the people in Europe because I know I have looked up to Europe um, as an activist um, ever since I got involved. And everyone in the U.S. does the same thing. We think Europe, um, they get more done, they're more creative, they're more energetic, they last longer as activists. So I want to know what it is about Europe that makes that so. I've seen a lot of people here today who are you know, well into their 30s and it's very difficult to find in the U.S. So I'm frankly, I think, it's more selfish than anything because I want to know what I can learn from people in Europe and I want to take that back to the US and hopefully I can share some US perspectives um, with people over here um, and it can be mutually beneficial. I'm excited to be here and uh, I really look forward to the gathering and it's taken me many many years to get to Europe but I'm here so I'm really excited to make it count. <laughs>